Sicilians are fascinating. There are three types. The Sicilians, which are a bit like a, a worm. They don't have any limbs, and many of them have very reduced eyes. And then there are the salamanders, which have quite long tails. And then the frogs and toads, which don't really have tails at all. Just over 10% of the world's amphibian species have been defined as edge. Well, edge stands for evolutionarily distinct and globally endangered, which is basically a mouthful for saying that the species are unusual, they have very few close relatives, and they're at some risk of extinction in the wild. The edge species that we're focusing on, the amphibians, actually include the world's largest amphibian, the world's smallest amphibian, a salamander that can survive without food for over 10 years, species that care for their young in their own mouths, basically every kind of reproductive strategy and life strategy you could think of. One of our top priority species is the world's largest amphibian, the Chinese giant salamander, and this can grow to a length of 1.8 meters, so it's basically the size of a human, and it's declining across a very fragmented range. So we want to develop a conservation program for this species to basically protect it and to run a conservation education program for local people because one of the main threats for this species is it's being hunted in the wild almost to extinction. At Zillicel London Zoo we have one of the species that's on our edge vocal amphibians list, the Malagasy rainbow frog, which is a very attractive species and is found in Madagascar in the Azale Massif where it actually climbs vertical rock surfaces. And when it's not doing this it's burrowing underground. Now we have a few of these uh, individuals in captivity and we're trying to run a captive breeding program for conservation purposes to re-release one day in Madagascar. The axolotl is species number six on our priority list. In the wild they're critically endangered because their only habitat is being destroyed by pollution and all sorts of habitat change. It is a very unusual species because it reproduces whilst it's still in the larval form. This is a bit like saying a tadpole could reproduce without ever developing into a frog. We also want to go in search of a species that's extremely unusual in this in Chile. It's called the Chile Darwin's frog. Now it hasn't been seen since 1980 and it might be extinct, but it's extremely unusual. The males actually care for the young by keeping them in their mouths for part of their development. People question whether amphibians are relevant to them because they're unusual species. However, amphibians represent the canaries in the coal mine for global environmental change. If the amphibian populations are declining, you know that environmental health is poor. Also, their skin chemicals are used in a number of medicines, from cancer and AIDS treatments to very powerful painkillers. Amphibians are declining globally because of a number of factors, including climate change, habitat destruction and disease. Over half of the 6,000 species are in decline and one in three species are threatened with extinction in the fairly near future. And this is a dreadful thing for global biodiversity. The Edge of Existence programme wants to contribute to the conservation of the world's most unusual species. And we have a lot of information on our interactive website where you can donate money to specific projects or just learn about some of the most interesting aspects of global biodiversity. For more information, please visit our website, which is at edgeofexistence.org, or you can go to the ZSL website at www.zsl.org forward slash edge.